Right folks, so what we're going to be doing today guys is the aeroplane exercise again. We have previously done on on shape, okay, and we have used, uh, or the explanation that was done was using a desktop. For today's exercise, we're actually going to be practicing using a tablet, okay. For what I'm doing on the tablet today guys, the exact same principles and techniques do apply to a phone. So whatever device you're doing it on, be it a phone or a tablet, okay, uh, these techniques will work on both. Uh, obviously a tablet will be a little bit easier because the screen is bigger than the screen on a phone okay therefore you have more surface area to work with but as I said both techniques will work so we're going to be basically taking the same dimensions that we have done previously okay in a video that I've explained previously okay by doing a center line 145 millimeters long okay and we're going to do the top half of the airplane and then mirror it down before we uh, turn it into a 3d model by extruding it okay so uh, I'm going to switch out there now guys to the tablet screen okay so folks as explained there in the introduction what we're going to be doing today is learning how to use on shape on our tablet okay and we're going to be doing the same question we have done previously uh, on uh, the airplane as well okay this is literally just getting used to using on shape on the tablet because it can be a little bit trickier than working off of our desktops um, the exact same here I'm using a tablet for demonstration purposes guys but also you could use your phone as well okay it's the exact same but for the tablet it's probably a little bit easier uh, but the same rules apply to it okay the only difference is obviously the surface area I have to work with is a little bit bigger okay um, you can also as I said use it on your phone but it might be a little bit trickier but the same techniques will apply okay so uh, if you have the app downloaded on your tablet or your phone okay you can go to that there sorry about that little notification and click on the on shape app okay that will bring you into this little screen here and it'll take a second to load up okay and as you can see there guys we kind of have this little section here okay and it's actually after bringing me straight into kind of my workspace area sometimes it'll bring you out here though where it'll say my on shape recently opened created by me and so forth okay and little plus symbol down here if i go into my on shape you can see other ones that we have already worked on in class and uh, the on shape airplane okay and this is kind of just me messing around with a couple of stuff i showed you that one in class as well okay and how we could use it to obviously maybe do some drawings and things but for the purpose of today we're going to be doing the airplane again okay only this one is practice with the tablet so i'm going to click on this little plus symbol down here and then i'm going to click on create document okay you can import files create folders that'll be something we may, may get onto in a future date okay but for now click on create document it's going to ask me to name that document so I'm going to call it tablet practice okay tablet practice and then aeroplane okay and there we go okay tablet practice aeroplane and click on this okay now that's going to bring you into kind of this little home screen area okay where we do all our modeling and it'll just take a second there to upload and as you can see it looks very much like our desktop now the difference with our desktop is usually we have like this menu bar up here along the top of it okay I'm not going to use the stylus for today guys I am going to use my fingers but just to kind of point out a few things I will okay and usually uh, up there you might have a load of like kind of a uh, 3d modeling options okay you might have uh, your sketching options things like that okay for here it's kind of a condensed version and they've kind of it um, slims down okay for the tablet and your phone that's the way it'll appear now uh what just in the three planes here we can see the front plane the right plane the top plane okay by pressing on the screen and moving my finger about you can see whatever object i have in there i'll be able to move it about the screen okay i can also pinching my fingers okay i can zoom in by pressing on the screen and moving my fingers apart oh sorry Get rid of that press down the screen too long but literally pinching apart okay like that okay and if i want to zoom in pinch your fingers together like this okay and at any point if it ever goes off the screen and you okay so watch here it's after going off the screen and you're kind of going oh where's my model you can click on this little box icon over here and click on isometric okay and what i usually like to do then at that point is kind of just tilt it up like that okay i think it gives me a better view of all the planes now i can come over here to my design tree area okay and i can scroll up and down and the one we're going working on today is the top plane guys okay so what i'm actually going to do is with this little eye symbol here on the front plane i'm going to knock that off and i'm also going to do the same on the right plane okay and all we have left that's showing is our origin and our top plane okay now we're at the point where we want to commence sketching okay so to sketch i'm going to click on this little icon up here okay this one gives me all my 3d extrusion kind of ideas okay all my 3d modeling techniques and to do my 2d drawings 
Okay, I can click on this little sketch icon here. Having selected that, you can see it's after opening up this window here that says sketch one. Okay, and it's asking me select a sketch plane. Okay, so what I have to do is select the plane I want to draw on, and we purposely left the top plane, so we're going to click the top plane. Okay, and now all my little drawing tools, you can see they're all after kind of coming up here. And the first one we're actually going to use is the line tool. Okay, and you can see the line tool is now selected, but I'm also going to have to select construction. And beside the line, we can see construction there. So I'm going to select that as well. So you can see the two of them are highlighted. Now, the way this kind of um, is set up here, it's not really conducive uh, to kind of drawing, okay, kind of straight lines and things like that. Uh, it's kind of in an isometric format at the moment. So I'm going to select my box over here again, and I'm going to select top view. Now it's after bringing it up like it's a page for me, okay? So what I'm actually going to do here now, guys, is I have a construction line. I'm going to select the origin. Okay, this first one can sometimes be a little bit awkward. And now I'm going to click and drag out again. And I'm pressed on the screen now. And look, I want to make sure it's horizontal. And you'll see it'll map. There you go. It has mapped horizontal, okay, a horizontal line. If I go up a little bit, you can kind of see the little cursor above my finger there. But then it maps horizontal. Now, when I've gone horizontal, I'm happy with that. Let go. Okay, and you can see we have a construction line. Now, at this point, uh, that construction line, we want it to be the length of the airplane, which was 145 millimeters long. So I'm going to go back up here to my or to my little kind of sketching icon tool, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to look for dimension. And we can see dimension is right here. So I'm going to select that. Now I'm on dimension. Don't need a construction anymore. I can knock it off. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to select the line. And you can see a little numbers have come up and then I'm going to select the numbers but I'll click and I'll press down on the screen I'm just going to drag it down here and let go and now it's uh, giving me a little keypad I'm going to press 145 and then tick and now I know that line is long enough and I'm happy okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do the outline of it and we're going to mirror it down then so we're going to draw half of it up here and then we're going to mirror it down so I'm going to come over here again I don't want my dimension tool on so I'm going to select this and I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to search for the line tool. You can see it's the first one that's in the top left. So I'm going to select that. And this time, making sure not to have dimension selected. Okay. Now, this is where practice can get a little bit tricky. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to be starting right here at this point. Okay. Right, folks. So at this point now, what we're actually going to do is we're going to select our sketch icon again. And I'm going to select the line icon. Okay. Make sure this time that your construction line is off. And to start off with, guys, what you do is you're going to select where you want to start with right here at this point here. So I'm going to select that point, and you can see a little box came up there very quickly. And now I'm going to select somewhere on the screen up here in the space, and I'm going to keep my finger pressed on the screen. And you can see a line is after popping in there now. Okay? And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hover over until it goes maps vertical. And there you go, it has mapped vertical. I'm going to let go. And there's my line. Now what I'm going to do, guys, and this is the best way, the best practice, I think, okay, uh, is I'm going to click on the point I want to start at next, which is up here, and drag off. And you can see there, I can drag anywhere and I can take a line anywhere I want, okay? But we know we want that line to be horizontal, okay? Around there, roughly, okay? And you can see that's not correct because that's kind of got at an angle. So it'll map horizontal. There we go. Let go. Do the same thing again. I think this is best practice, okay? Select the end point where we want to go from. Drag out, and I know I want it to be down at an angle. I don't want it to hit this line. I want it to be something like that. Let go. Now, another technique is, from this point, because the line is activated, I could literally try and click horizontal, and you can see a line also comes up that way. The problem with that one, guys, is if you didn't get it exactly horizontal, it might be up angled, and you have to kind of go fixing those things, okay? So the way I'd like to do it is press on the line, drag up, okay? And you can let go where you want. And this one I know is where the wing is, and I know the wing kind of is tapered, okay, or at an angle, sorry. So I'm going to drag up there. Okay, now I know it's a horizontal, so I'm going to click on it, drag out, wait till it maps horizontal, and then drag it into a position I'm happy with, let go. Click, hold down on the screen, drag out. Now I want this to be at the same level as this line going across here. So what I'm going to do to map onto that is, I'm going to hover over the point, and then drag away and as you'll see it kind of give, comes with a guide then okay and when I'm happy let go okay same thing again I want this to be uh, horizontal click drag away let go 
and now at this point I want it kind of tapers down a bit okay the nose kind of tapers in so for this one it's a little bit awkward a little bit more kind of um, uh, intricate work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in by just pinching there and moving my fingers away from each other and I am going to select this point here and drag away and you can see here I don't want it to be horizontal and I also want it to be kind of where the end of the line is here so to try and find that what I'm going to do is map onto the point and then just drag up you can see a guide comes with it and let go and there we go and now the last one if you want you can literally do the quick technique rather than clicking on the line and holding down just click the point and there we go okay and as you can see there guys that is the rough shape of our airplane now what we want to do now is we want to put in our dimensions so I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to select my sketch icon and I'm going to look down for my dimension tool which is here okay now I'm on my dimensions so I'm going to zoom out there a little bit and kind of center the screen a bit better to do a dimension like we did previously I'm going to select the line and as you can see the dimension has popped up and I'm just going to drag mine out here to keep it neat and tidy and drag it out there and once I have it dragged out 3 0 enter okay now the next dimension at the top of it this little portion of the wing up here that is 10 select it's after coming into a position I'm happy with click again 1 0 enter okay now I know this portion of the wing coming down at an angle is at 30 degrees so to do this I have to select this line and this line so select select and you can see an angle has come in click on that 3 0 it's quite close already enter the distance between the center line and this line here okay so just going to show you there between this line and this line is 10 so I'm going to select that line and this line and you can see a measurement has come in here it's kind of 6.937 now I'm going to select that and I'm going to go 1 0 enter and now the distance okay and I'm just using my stylus okay so you can see exactly the points I'm pointing at but this point here and this line the distance between them is 60 so I'll select the point and select the line and as you can see a number has come in I'm going to drag it down here and I'm going to go 6 0 enter okay now I know the distance or the height I should say sorry from this line here up to the wing okay I selected there by accident sorry and I'll select that as well but that distance there is 60 so 6 0 enter and I know the angle between in here is 75 so select this line and select this line and I'll change that to 75 okay and now the distance between this point here okay once again just using the stylus to show this point here and this point here is 35 I think it was yes so click the point click the point we can see the dimension has come up click on that happy with that 35 enter there we go and I know the angle of this line is at 60 degrees so I'm going to select this line and select this line I'll change that then to 60 and as you can see while I'm doing all this along you can see that every bit of it is going from blue to black that means it is fully defined this portion of the line is 30 millimeters so 3 0 okay and finally the last one here is this bit here has an angle going down at 15 degrees okay so to do this now it can be a little bit awkward what I'm going to do is I'm, once again I'm going to zoom in okay it doesn't matter if it twists a little bit and I'm going to select this line and obviously you can see it comes up with the length first and now I'm going to select this line and as you can see there it's saying 172.243 but I'm going to drag that over to the position where I want it and that's the angle I want there not this angle I'm going to drag it over here until I get the one I want like it is in your drawing and as you can see it's saying 7.75 and I change that to 15 and there we go okay now I'm going to recenter this by clicking on the top and as you can see it's after coming in okay and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit further okay I'm actually going to turn off my top plane now and we just have the sketch plane there okay now the next thing is that's half of it done what I want to do is I want to mirror it about that center line so to do the mirror I'm going to come up here to my sketch icon and I'm going to look for mirror I think it's near the bottom yep yeah, sketch mirror we can see it over here so select that and the first thing it says is select the mirror line so the mirror line is your center line there we go now it says select entities to be mirrored so I'm going to zoom in there so we can see it a little bit better I'm going to start with this guy so I'm going to select every one of the lines that I have done okay not the dimensions the lines there we go that has come in down here now this little bit and you'll see it's populating in underneath it this bit this 
There we go. You can see the wing coming in underneath. There we go. This little bit here. And now to get the final little bit, I'll just zoom in there and there we go. Now, as you can see, it's after graying in, okay? And once again, I'm going to this time go to an isometric view. So we can see our sketch now in a kind of a 3D view, okay? And at this point, what we did in class was we want to extrude it up, okay? So now we're actually going to go to our features. And the features that are actually available to us at this point here are extrude and revolve, okay? I don't know how the revolve will work, but we'll do the extrude. Select extrude, and as you can see there, it has become a 3D object, okay? We've got our dimensions here. At the moment, it's 25. I can change that by clicking on the handle and dragging it up or I can drag it down and the dimension I want and it's not zero point I'm going to put uh, 15 click to tick and there we go and accept that oh, just accept that there there we go and now at that point there guys that is our model done on a tablet okay takes a little bit of practice guys especially with the sketching technique I'd advise you to kind of play around with the line kind of tool okay at the start guys that's just a very much an introductory one uh, eventually at some point then we will get on to using I'll just select the plane there uh, top plane again uh, we'll get on to using rectangles different kind of ones okay curves and circles and so forth okay um, but that's just going to be a good practice one guys for using on your phone or on your tablet okay at home so I'll X that there that is our work there done on the tablet practice guys on the airplane uh, hope you found that helpful guys uh, that's the question complete okay